Scooby-Doo, an estimation mystery, The Case of the Greedy Ghost, by Thomas K. and Heather Adamson, illustrated by Scott Neely. The Mystery Inc. gang helped their friend Rita set up for the Crystal Cove Fair. Their day began with a math problem as they worked on building a walkway to the burger shack. But Rita was secretly afraid to tell the gang the real reason she invited them to Crystal Cove. A ghostly creature was scaring all the visitors away. Okay, gang, that's five boards in place. Like, how many more to go until lunch break? Vilma scanned the distance to the burger shack. I don't know exactly, but I bet we can estimate, she said. Restorate? Yes, Scooby-Doo. To estimate is to guess as close as possible. Estimating can save you time when an exact number isn't needed. Five plus five equals ten. Daphne quickly estimated in her head. If it took this much space for five boards, then it looks like there's an equal distance to go. Do you know about how many total boards we will need? Rita needed to know how many people could stand on the new walkway. She didn't want the food line getting too crowded. Let's all stand on these two boards and see how much of the walkway we use, said Fred. That's five of us right here, replied Daphne. Velma looked at the amount of space the gang filled. Then, she looked at the amount of space left on the walkway. Based on my calculations, I estimate 25 people could fit on the finished walkway. Later on, the gang helped stock the burger shack with food. Well, looks like there's enough ketchup said Daphne. Shaggy drooled as he looked over all the boxes of food. Hey, Scoob, I bet that much ketchup could cover a lot of hot dogs, said Shaggy. Rah, rot rogs, yum, replied Scooby-Doo. Approximately how many hot dogs do you think one bottle of ketchup would cover? Let's say about two tablespoons of ketchup covers one hot dog. I'd say there are about 50 tablespoons in a bottle. Can you guess about how many hot dogs would that cover? 50 divided by 2 equals 25 hot dogs. Scooby-Doo and the gang continued to prepare for the upcoming fair. All of a sudden, Rita broke down in tears. I just hope we get any people at the fair at all, she wailed. Why do you say that, Rita? asked Fred. Rita paused. Because a ghost is scaring all the visitors away. The ghost has been showing up near the carnival games, usually just as the sun is going down. We can't let a ghost spoil our fun. Time to set a trap and see what's really going on. Later that night, the gang took their places in the fairgrounds. Could we all hide in this photo booth? How many of us can fit in it? Fred eyed the booth and took a guess. Looks like only three people. Shaggy and Scooby, you go pretend to play the carnival game so the ghost will notice you. Like, why are we always the bait? Shaggy and Scooby-Doo checked out some of the carnival games while they waited for the ghost to appear. Shaggy immediately spotted a jar of gumballs. Look, Scoob, a guessing game. How many gumballs are in this jar? Rue Renny. You're right, pal. But we could estimate. Let's see. There are 25 gumballs in the top layer. It looks like about... Ten of those groups might fit in the jar. My guess is 250 gumballs. 
Shaggy and Scooby-Doo left the gumball guessing game. Like, I sure hope the creepy ghost doesn't ruin my chances of winning all those gumballs, said Shaggy. Shaggy and Scooby-Doo walked through the rows of games. Raggy Rook! Rookies! said Scooby. Like, that's a lot of ducks, said Shaggy. Shaggy read a sign that explained how the game worked. It says, pick a duck with a star to win a prize. Five winning ducks. Shaggy shrugged. Like, how hard could it be to win? I estimate there are about 50 ducks in the pond. With only five winners, the chances of picking one are about one in ten. You could pick, like, ten ducks before finding a star. Rocky guess. Suddenly, Scooby-Doo stopped in his tracks. R r roast he cried. Yeah, Scoob, we're waiting for the creepy ghost to scare us away, said Shaggy. Scooby's eyes widened, and he pointed. The ghost loomed behind Shaggy with a snarling glare. Fred, Velma, and Daphne saw the ghost chasing Shaggy and Scooby toward them. Get ready, yelled Fred. Zoinks! It's about 25 feet from here to the photo booth. If we run as fast as we can, I estimate we can get there in... Run! I estimate they will be here in five seconds. Get the net ready. Three, two, one. Rita ran to meet the Mystery Inc. gang near the photo booth. You got him. Good work, gang, she said. Let's find out who is trying to ruin the fair, said Fred. Just then, Rita pulled the sheet off the mysterious ghost. Why, it's Chancy Roberts. Aren't you the local treasure hunter? Yeah, and I just know there is pirate treasure buried under this fair. I'd have scared away everyone and found it if not for you meddling kids. I was gonna be filthy rich. After the police led Chancy away, the gang and Rita gathered near the carnival games. You guys saved the Crystal Cove Fair. Thank you, thank you, thank you, cried Rita. So, gang, who's up for some carnival games? Looks like Shaggy and Scooby already found some prizes. I think we're going to need to get more prizes before the fair even starts. Scooby-Rooby-Roo!